There's a lot of positive things yes. that happen in the community. So you see hope in a community. Oh, I do, yeah. Welcome to Face Chicago. I'm Debbie Frazier, and we are on part two of our ministry tour with Heart for the City. And Dr. John Feuder is with me today. John, thank hey, you Debbie. for being here. There's crime and violence in most all major cities. Why can people not coexist here? Well, I think, Deb, that goes back to, uh, unfortunately, um, that the practices of what flipped a lot of Chicago's neighborhoods back in the day historically from white to black to brown uh, have often um, been driven by a, a deep um, racial overlay of, I, I guess I want to say racial preference, uh, a, a sense of people being f f treated as less than, worthy, equal, Practices that did not enable uh, people to gain access to be able to buy a home in certain neighborhoods. The infamous Black Belt community where African Americans were marginalized in certain sections of Chicago. Neighborhoods where people know that that is primarily a Latino community, it's primarily an African American. Um, that's not unique to other cities per se in this nation, but if ever there was a city that, that um, un unfortunately was, <laughs> is known for those kind of practices, it really <laughs> it is, is Chicago. And, and okay. I think the ache for us as Christ followers is there, I don't know if there's ever been fully repenting of that. Okay. Because in some respects, churches were complicit. Churches that white flight is called that left neighborhoods and, and, and relocated in more resource communities. And um, those left behind still carry a lot of baggage. Uh, even Christians still, there's yeah. a lot of drama in that regard. Part of what we're trying to do is to put that stuff out there and really acknowledge, God, we have we have not lived as your church. And uh, we need you to break our hearts around that. And we need to, in a sense, reestablish what it really means to be a Christian in these communities again and care for people. We're on the rooftop of Park Community Church right now. What is so significant about this location? This community uh, what was simply known as Cabrini back in the day, near north is the official neighborhood. And it was a place where there was a lot of high-rise, low-income housing projects. All those buildings are torn down. I was going to say, that's not so the case see, as I look no, around. This is all that, new development. Yeah, there's a, these are beautiful quarter, half a million dollar townhouses now that were built. And literally surrounding Parks building uh, are all new units now. Now, there are still pockets of need around us, Debbie. There are still what are called the rows, the row houses, where there are still... Uh, and in and, and, and another low-income apartment unit called the Marshall Field Homes, there would still be several thousand under-resourced wow. families in this community, but you wouldn't see that now. They're kind of tucked and hidden away. Yeah. So it's kind of a mixed bag. I think to learn for the church, for parks specifically, is to bridge both of those worlds, to care for the more resource, to figure out ways to get into conversation, but not to neglect those around us that still struggle uh, materially. We're gonna learn about other ministries, but tell us about yours, Heart for the City. In essence, what Heart for the City does is helps churches engage their community by, yes. by knowing it, listening to its needs, learning from it, studying different um, socioeconomic um, aspects that are, are things that cause neighborhoods to struggle culturally, and then apply scripture to do that. And, and a lot of it was born in, in God doing that in my own heart and life, giving uh, me a heart for Chicago, but realizing that Ultimately, because our city is in need, we respond as the church, but it's deeper than that. God's great intent is for the church to really be all that it can be in communities of need. And so it's training, it's mobilizing, it's helping Christ followers understand their neighborhood, yes. respond to it, and, and God willing, see churches formed around that. That's a lot of what we try to do. Well, there's a great need here, so let's get started. Amen, okay. let's do it. When we return, we'll visit the west side, best side of Chicago, stay with us. <laughs> 